that's still young. And here with mine. So I hope all of you have a drinking hand or at least a comfortable seat. Or where I go. Um, when my son celebrates his birthday every year, he unfailingly reminds me that I'm 30 years older than him. So when he got to graduate school, I could have put him on feet and said, okay, now my time to chill. Right? Wrong. Around that same time, my friend and now partner, Dilip Gonde, published his first book, the, the, the First Indian. It's the story of his solo circumnavigation around the world on a safe book. He's the first Indian to do that. His sense of humor and adventure that he made light of had me wanting more. So I moved to Goa soon after. Dilip was already here. He was training six young women naval officers for their circumnavigation. I bumped right with them at every opportunity. But as a civilian, I was always just a spectator. So I started taking sailing lessons on my own. Here I am on a J24, which you see me helping there. It's a great way to learn uh, the basics of a boat, how to rig one, how to figure the wind and how that affects the sails and things like that. The adrenaline, the adrenaline rush of zooming across the Zuari, all the way across to Marmagor from Donapola, is exciting. But I was pitting myself against those young naval women, remember? Seeing them clocking up the miles, nautical miles, pushed me to do more. So I, tried, uh, so I signed up for the Clipper Round the World Race in 2017. We underwent four grueling weeks of training, beginning literally with learning the rope to helming that giant. That was me at the helm. We did short sails in the Solon around the Isle of Wight and then ventured into the English Channel, sailing almost all the way to Calais and France, France and back. That's me in the pink t-shirt there. The Clipper Race has 12 70-foot long boats competing to sail around the world. Each has a crew of about 24. Half of them sail around the world and half of them, like me, sign up for a leg or two. I did the second leg from Punta del Este in Uruguay to Cape Town, uh, South Africa. This is the crew I sailed with from Punta. Within hours of setting sail, we were given a friendly nudge by a southern right whale. He knocked out this huge hole in the hull and then go right back to Punta to get a rudder repair. Then we sailed out again. On the sail, we were two teams with a watch system to regulate our on-deck and below-deck routines. On-watch time was spent on deck crewing. Off watch was for everything else. We reached Cape Town in solitary glory. With the icing, of course, was landing there on my birthday. It was a glorious feeling to have participated in the race and come out alive. Shortly thereafter, Antara landed on our laps. We worked on the boat for about six months to create the beauty you see here. We would like to make sailing accessible to everyone. As you can see, age is just a number. You can decide to sail whenever you're on a boat. Andhra is just one such option. She gives you the space to get acquainted with the sea and offers you the liberty to lounge on the deck, manage the sails, learn the basics. Andhra offers me a unique lifestyle. It was an awesome feeling to sail into a new city. For me, that first sail into Cape Town will always be etched in my mind. But here I am snorkeling uh, of Netrani. That's possible too. Last year, we ventured further offshore. We went to the Maldives. As the first sailing boat registered to sail anywhere in the world, uh, we were the lone Indians at the Maldives Yacht Rally. That's us uh, partying there. While sailing in the Caribbean, I met a model sailboat maker in his workshop in Bekwi. Sailing has introduced me to interesting people. The 83-year-old pioneer of sailing, the nimble Chinese sailor photographer, 
and the 10 year old wise man who, is, who took his first diet of Antara. But it's not all fun and games. Here I am putting a coat of varnish on the insides of Antara. We sail and maintain her ourselves. She's our home and we spend the better half, a better part of every year since 2019 sailing on her. You may have heard of the orcas attacking sailboats of the coast of Spain. This was us making a very personal interaction with them. This was my second encounter with a whale. I seemed to attract them whenever I attempt to cross the Atlantic. Gorgeous sunsets, lustrous moonlit waters, starstruck nights, tumultuous waves, dolphins sailing alongside. These are some of the memories I carry with me. And that inspires me to paint. Not to replicate the beauty, but to recreate that magic. So I use acrylic on canvas to paint. I don't have a particular style, but I like long brush strokes. Most of my paintings are with uh, friends and family, but I did have an exhibition last year, and I hope to have another one soon. My mother always says, I seem to have wheels on my feet. I hope I don't ever take them off. So, thank you for your time. Thank you, Peter and Ravi. Thank you, folks. I hope you enjoyed the ride.